One Piece is the most popular and best-selling Japanese manga in the world, and has been running for nearly 30 years. This incredibly inspired pirate adventure manga stays fresh each iteration by taking its cast of characters to different islands inspired by all aspects of life. However, one stop on the journey has been a bit of an outlier, and that's the undersea prison known as Impel Down. Have you ever wondered why the Minotaur in One Piece looks so... Dumb, or that the bottom of Impelled Down is freezing cold, despite hell traditionally being depicted as a place of fire and brimstone. Even the design of Impelled Down is completely unique in the One Piece world, because it breaks the traditional format of hopping from island to island, enjoying the culture, finding someone to beat up, saving a princess, and moving on. But the whole Marine Ford saga does something radically different, and this is the linchpin of it all one undersea prison that the world government operates. One Piece's world building has been touted by so many before, but this set piece stands out. It's not really like anything the audience has seen before, and it's so drastically different than the rest of the series. And that's because its direct inspiration is from the depiction of hell in Dante's Inferno. And if you're a casual viewer of this goofy pirate comic, or someone who is mildly impressed by the live-action adaptation, you're probably not too familiar with 14th century Italian poetry. But that's where I come in, dear viewer. This is the story of how One Piece's Impel Down was inspired by Dante's Inferno. Okay, to understand how Echiro Oda, the creator of One Piece, took inspiration from the Inferno, we have to understand who wrote the Inferno and why. Dante Alighieri was born in the year 1265 AD, into the turmoil of the Ghibelline and the Gulf conflict in Florence. These two factions were fighting for control of the region in 1289 AD, and Dante joined the battle on the winning side. Then he met the King of Hungary, he joined an apothecary guild, and became the governor of Florence by 1300 AD. Meanwhile, Dante's been writing a bunch of poetry and a lot of people like it, but not everything's so great because the Gulfs couldn't agree whether they liked the Pope enough or not, so the group that stayed macro-snapping papists took power and then exiled Dante. Feeling kind of pissed off that he lost everything, he began working on the Commedia, a grand adventure of him journeying through hell, through purgatory, and to heaven. And what do you know, the first book, Inferno, has all of his political rivals condemned to eternal torture, while Dante is praised by the great poets of the ages. Funny how that turns out. To make a long and complicated story of Italian politics short, Dante won out in the end because his divine comedy became so popular. It was not only a sick roast of his political opponents at the time, but also a trove of depictions about eternal damnation, the souls that we pray for, and what paradise looks like. And one of the many mangaka to be inspired by these depictions was Oda Sensei, specifically the first book of the divine comedy Inferno, where Luffy descends Impel Down to rescue his captured brother Ace. And in this video, I'm here to tell you the references and reasons for why this arc stands out. And I'm personally pretty excited because I'm an avid Dante enjoyer and Impel Down is like top three arcs of One Piece for me. And if you want to know my One piece arc ranking, I can upload that on the second channel. Let's start with the most basic comparison, the actual structures of the buildings. In Dante's Inferno, hell is depicted as a funnel with nine different circles on the way down, shrinking in size. The order being limbo, lust, gluttony, greed, wrath, heresy, violence, with specific rings against neighbors, self, and nature and god, fraud with ten melibolge, or rotten pockets for different types of fraudsters, and finally, traitors against family, nations, guests, and benefactors, i.e. God. The structure is distilled into Impel Down, and Oda wanting to avoid copyright just flips this structure 180 degrees, and then puts it underwater. You know Impel Down kinda looks like a cake, and we always know Oda is cooking. Each level is broken into different hells, those being Level 1, Crimson Hell, Level 2, Wild Beast Hell, Level 3, Starvation Hell, Level 4, Blazing Hell, Level 5, Freezing Hell, Level 5.5, New Kama Land, and Level 6, Eternal Hell. In the One Piece world, each different sections of Impel Down houses prisoners of increasing threat level to the world government. And in Dante's Inferno, the circles of hell decrease in size yet increase in the severity of the sin committed and the resulting punishment. Furthermore, as Luffy descends into Impel Down, it goes from a dark forest, quite like the first few Kanto of the Inferno, and changes terrain to become a more structured castle-like architecture. This is paralleled in Dante and Virgil's journey, as once they reach the seventh circle of 
of hell, there is a place called Dis, which is laid out like a castle where the rings and Bulgia represent different ramparts and towers, except pointing downward. One Piece has always been a very expressive manga when it comes to character designs and proportions, so it's not surprising that the world government prison staff have designs inspired by common tropes derived from Dante's depiction of fallen angels and demons. The Warden Magellan may have taken his name from Ferdinand Magellan, the first person to try and circumnavigate the world, but his demonic wings, tilted horns, blue eyeliner, and beard invoke common attributes of demons. Hannibal, the Vice Warden, also follows the same design, though with more comedic and Egyptian aspects. The Chief Guard Sadi, short for Sadist, exudes lust. <laughs> I am the storm that is approaching. While Sal Death is a bit more imp ish, get it? And to round it off, with just how evil these jailers and guards can be, Oda decided to put them in the brown shirts of a certain type of soldier from a certain war. Dante is uniquely capable of meshing Catholic tradition and philosophy with inspirations from Greco-Roman mythology, and that's quite evident given the monsters that inhabit both the Inferno and Impel Down. The Inferno is filled with all sorts of creatures like Greyon and Centaurs, and Impel Down has a whole level, level 2, the Wild Beast Hell, full of things like manticores and basilisks, but there's a few animals that are really relevant to the Inferno. As I mentioned at the start of the Inferno, Dante is walking through a dark forest and encounters a leopard representing lust, a massive lion representing pride, and a she-wolf representing greed. At least two of these animals are persistent threats to Luffy and his ragtag allies while they're scaling through Impel Down. The Sphinx, whom Luffy only refers to as just a lion multiple times, and the Wolf Squad on level 5. But the most notable monster in both works is the Minotaur. A quick reminder on Greek mythology. The Minotaur is a monster of Crete that has the head of a bull and the body of a man, and Theseus defeated the Minotaur in Minos's labyrinth. Minos is also in the Inferno. In Dante's Inferno, the Minotaur is found on the slopes of the boulders created by our Lord Jesus Christ's harrowing of hell. His depiction is not one of fear, terror, and power that the Greeks had. This creature seems intimidating at first, but Virgil tells him the equivalent of get good scrub, and this sends him into a nonsensical bucking where he hits and bites himself. This is why the Minotaur and all of its variants in Impel Down look incredibly non-threatening despite being the first awakened devil fruit users we meet in the series. Very intentionally on Oda's part, especially considering that the Minotaur fights Luffy and the gang on level 4 of Impel Down, which most closely resembles the seventh circle of hell. Except instead of a big boiling pot of blood in Impel Down, Dante has a boiling river of blood where the centaurs patrol. Now publicly, Impel Down is said to have five layers, the fifth layer being a freezing hell. This may be confusing to some people who have only had the image of hell being a place of fire and brimstone. However, this is a direct parallel to the ninth circle of hell in Dante's Inferno. At the bottom of Dante's hell, there is a frozen lake where all of the most heinous sinners go, traitorous people. This is a place where sins are so grievous that Dante actually meets people who were alive at the time, but their souls had been cast off to hell and their bodies on earth had been possessed by demons. And Impel Down has a secret level between the freezing hell and the internal hell. On level 5.5, the new Kama Land was established by Emporio Ivankov, one of the most eccentric characters in all of One Piece. He leads a pretty zesty and fruity nightclub within the prison walls. Bonclay, a previous ally of Luffy's, is reunited with him earlier on level 3 in the Starving Hell, and brings him down for Ivankov to perform a miracle on him. In actuality, new Kama Land's placement is really fitting because Dante's seventh circle of violence, below those who commit genocide and suicide, are those who commit the mortal sin of sodomy, which is an affront against God and the natural law because it doesn't fulfill the proper ends of sex. This was solidified in Catholic teachings and by result shaped Dante's views. Initially this seems pretty harsh, but Dante elaborates this by conversing directly with his mentor and father figure, Brunetto Latini, who was among the sodomites. Now there's scant evidence that Brunetto was a sodomite, but perhaps Dante placed him there in hell because he wrote poetry that Dante may have viewed as sterile. Not nonsensical, and also in French. You know, French isn't as good of a language as Italian. Brunetto's punishment was to wander a desert of burning sand and raining fire while being chased by other naked sodomites. Hmm, if only Luffy had come across a French-speaking fruity character in a desert terrain. Oh wait, it's just Banchan. 
And just to put a nice bow on the new comma thing, even Ivankov's hormone hormone devil fruit power and gender bending is represented in Dante's Inferno too. Like of all things, right? Tiresias, the prophet of Thebes from Ovid's Metamorphosis, makes an appearance in the fourth bulgia of the eighth circle of hell for fraudsters with other soothsayers. Tiresias' punishment is perpetually shifting between being a man and a woman because he indulged in the pleasures of both. And while I wouldn't say Ivankov has future sight observation in hockey. He's often referred to as a miracle worker, so I don't know, throw him in the ninth Bulgia where the rabble rousers go because Ivankov fits perfectly there since he was a revolutionary war criminal. And finally, finally, I think it's incredibly fitting that the final level of Impel Down, the eternal hell, punishes crimes almost identical to those in the ninth circle of Dante's hell. Traitors. At the center of Dante's Inferno is Satan, frozen from the waist down in a lake. He has these giant bat wings that are blowing and causing all of the cold freezingness that everyone sees. He's basically just a giant refrigerator. And he has three mouths eternally chewing on Judas Iscariot, who betrayed our Lord Jesus Christ, and Brutus and Cassius, who betrayed Julius Caesar. There are several traitors to the world government who were Shichibukai, or Seven Warlord, including Crocodile and Jinbei. Even Shiryu, the former head jailer of Impel Down, commits treason against the world government by assisting the Blackbeard pirates in their scheme to acquire new crewmates. One kind of funny contention about level 6 is that how could a giant like San Juan Wolf even fit in an underwater prison? And yet again, here is another reference to Dante's Inferno, where him and Virgil are carried down by the giant Nimrod. Besides being a playground insult, Nimrod was the guy who tried to make a tower to God, but God said everyone can't talk to each other anymore, so now Dante has him speaking Italian gibberish. Impel Down is one of the most creative arcs in the entire series of One Piece, and has some of the best moments, reunions, Unions, gags and characters that come together for a final push towards Marineford. And to draw just a handful of amazing connections between it and one of my favorite poets is such a joy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Consider hitting that subscribe button and leaving a like. Let me know if I missed any other references down in the comments below. Have a beautiful doing and I'll see you all next time.